Dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner time. Hello! My name is Mara, and I am with the Funky Spork Blog. For those of you that don't know, dinner is one of my three favorite meals of the day. Believe it or not, it is very true. I'm craving some delicious Italian food, so for the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to make a pasta primavera with a nice plant-based vegan twist, so stay tuned. These sexy food items over here are all the ingredients that you are going to need in order to make tonight's pasta primavera. So stick with me and I'll break everything down step by step. Okay, so one of the first steps you're gonna go ahead and do are you're going to take a small saucepan and a skillet. You're gonna go ahead and crank the power up on both of them. For the small skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up on medium high. And for the large skillet, I'm going to go ahead and heat that up on medium high as well okay so this being a vegan plant-based primavera typically primavera has a nice cream dairy based heavy cream milk but this one one of the alternatives we're going to use are cashews now typically when it comes to creating like a nice cashew cream a lot of recipes say to leave raw cashews soaking overnight. I don't have time for that. And also, I'm gonna debunk a myth. You don't have to use raw cashews. Roasted cashews will do the trick. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and take my cashews and then take some unsalted vegetable broth, pour it into my beautiful little saucepan and let that boil for about 20 minutes. And let's be real, 20 minutes is way quicker than overnight. So now one of my next steps is to take my angel hair pasta, you can use whatever brand you like, and um, I'm going to put eight ounces of pasta in here. Mind you, this is for four servings. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this straight up into the skillet. We're gonna skip the boiling process because I don't have time for that and I don't have patience. So what I like to do is I like to get my pasta, which is gonna be about half this packet. Would I look good with angel hair? Would it match my angelic personality? You're gonna take your angel hair pasta. I like to break it in half so the pieces are nice and forkable. And then I'm going to go ahead and put roughly about a quart of water, cold water, and I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook in itself for about 10 minutes or until the majority of the water starts to evaporate but I will be looking for an al dente so stick around I'll show you some of the next steps so while your delicious cashews are boiling what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna also want to take garlic and add your cloves into the boiling veggie broth mixture and that's going to soften as the cashews begin to soften. Now, some of you may be wondering, goodness gracious, Mara, why did you even add vegetable broth? What was the point of that? Well, I could add water. However, this vegetable broth gives it way more flavor and a beautiful, beautiful aroma, and it's just gonna add this nice richness uh, for those of you watching your sodium levels, I did find an excellent broth that was um, no salt added. So just keep that in mind. The roasted cashews already do have salt and same with the tomato paste. So I want to really go easy on the level of salt intake for this dish. So this, my friends, is the beautiful cashew garlic veggie broth mixture boiling, boiling way. It is done and here is the angel hair pasta. It has been boiling in cold water. The beauty behind doing it in this particular way is that you save about at least 10 minutes. And I'm telling you, time is money. The cold water is beneficial because it helps keep the pasta from clumping together. And boiling in, in this type of shallow skillet actually helps to speed up the process. Okay, folks, so now that the delicious 
boiled cashew mixture is done. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and let it cool down for just a moment. You'll see why in the next step. And right now, as I was saying before, the angel hair pasta is completely boiled. It's completely done. You may notice that there's still a tiny bit of water left. Um, you can either just drain the rest of that out or you can incorporate into the sauce, but really this is done. It's, you know, it's already done enough of its steaming. What I'm gonna go ahead and do right now, just to make sure that the level of cookness is to where I want it to be, which is al dente, I'm going to go ahead and give this little piece of pasta a try. And it's very hot, so just be careful, especially you kids, I see you. Okay, that's perfect, and that's very, very good. Very good, very good. So folks, now that this beautiful angel hair pasta has had a chance to boil down in that cold water, and while this delicious, beautiful, boiled cashew and garlic is still cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this opportunity by adding two delicious veggie ingredients. The first one being peas. These ones are frozen. Quite personally, if you can get them fresh, perfect. I like the frozen ones because when you get frozen produce, it is picked at its peak ripeness. I personally don't care for canned peas. I don't like that metallic flavor. I just always thought that they were really icky growing up. However, if that's what you like or that's what the only type of pea you have access to or that can, you can afford, go for it, have at it. That would work just as fine. Now the second thing I have here is spinach. This is roughly two cups of packed spinach, but one of those things you can just kind of use it to your liking and it seems like a whole lot right now. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is, while this is on a very low temperature, I'm gonna cover this so it can just kind of steam in itself, which will help the spinach start to wilt and the peas start to thaw. And you'll see how everything starts to come together and I'm so excited to continue to show you how. So stay tuned. Folks, public service announcement. If you are cooking anywhere near any types of burners, Please be careful, I just burnt myself. I'm gonna be okay. It just hurts a lot. <sighs> okay friends, now that the cashew veggie broth garlic mixture has had a chance to cool off, now that it's softened, I'm gonna show you the next step and this is how to make the primavera sauce. I promise you it's gonna be so savory, so delicious, so rich, so creamy. You think that you were having the regular uh, dairy-based version, so stick with me. Now for this, you're going to need a food blender. I've tried using a food processor, and if you have a good one, great, but my personal experience was all the liquids start to spill everywhere. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the following ingredients into this beautiful, beautiful blender and just keep in mind that you may have some very hot ingredients. So what I have here is the boiled cashew mixture. I'm going to go ahead and add that all in. Yep, it's all in there. And now you see all these spices here. I have tomato paste, nutritional yeast, Italian seasoning, and salt. If you wanna go crazy, you can add miso paste, but if you don't have any miso paste around, Salt will do the trick. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put in my tomato paste. I already have some reserve. Now, I'm going to add this mixture of all these spices and ingredients. The one thing I didn't mention that this does contain is unsweetened almond milk. But if you like any other type of milk, such as pea milk or oat milk, that would work just fine. Personally, I do not recommend you using soy milk just because it just winds up having kind of a weird flavor as you're cooking it. But what I did was I mixed it up until I got a nice little paste. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to this beautiful concoction here. Now this next step is a fun one. I'm going to go ahead and blend everything together. And honestly, blending or liquefying will be just fine. You're gonna wanna blend this for about a minute or so, maybe no more than two minutes until you have a nice creamy consistency. So what we have here is 
the blended sauce mixture. It has been blending for about a minute and a half. Let me show you what it looks like. That is amazing. That is creamy. It smells amazing. I wish you can all join me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try a little bit of this. Ooh, ooh, so good. So what I have now here is this amazing, creamy, delicious Primavera sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and gently pour it over this pasta mixture. As you see, some of this, a lot of the spinach has wilted, the peas have thawed, um, but some of it is still not quite at that wilty stage. But pouring this nice, hot, warm mixture is really going to help. If you can see that, this is what I'm doing. Goodness gracious, folks. This is so thick. It is so creamy. And I'm telling you, I promise you, your friends, if you don't tell them, they will never know that it was vegan. This, my friends, is the amazing, amazing sauce. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is get a little bit innovative. I'm gonna take my spoons and I'm just going to gently toss it around. And I wanna toss this around until it is nicely well coated and distributed all around the pasta, the spinach, and the peas. I want it to be nicely, nicely mixed and combined. So this will just take me a couple minutes. Folks, after stirring this around for a couple minutes with the sauce and the pasta and the spinach and the peas and the love, this is what we've got. Oh my goodness. One of the most important parts of a cooking demo is tasting the recipe. So that's what we're about to do. Go ahead and put some of this pasta into a little tiny bowl. So here is the dish. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. This is going to be a real moment of truth. Mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy, that is good. My word, my goodness. I mean, it's just so creamy and just so rich and it has some of that umami flavor that gives it just this nice savoriness. I can't believe it, but let me not be the judge. Let me see what my fiance thinks of this very dish. Babe, yeah. come try some. Oh, hey. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, world. This is my handsome, handsome partner, Jeremy, and he's going to be my guinea pig. I think this pasta is good. I think it's amazing and the bomb.com, but let's see what you think. All right. I'm not intimidated at all. No, no, no. Let's give it a shot. The anticipation. Is that a good thing? It's a great thing. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Ah! So folks, this is a great dish for potlucks, for family dinners, for your next corporate luncheon, whatever the occasion, I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10, and not just because I cooked it, but because it's pretty darn good. So my friends, if you like this recipe, and you like this video, please, please, please hit that subscribe button below. And if you wanna see any more of my content, please go to my recipe blog at www.thefunkyspork.com where this very recipe is listed. Also find me on other social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at The Funky Spork. Thank you all very much and enjoy your dinner and bon appetit. Mwah.